that in the book of Ezekiel, God says He's going to remove our heart of stone. He's going to give us a heart of flesh. He's going to put a new spirit within us that again will cause us to follow His statutes and commands. And you see this played out hundreds of years later on the cross of Jesus Christ where His blood was spilled for our transgressions, that He was punished for our sins. And for those of us who trust in this message, we will find forgiveness in Him and Him alone, that Jesus says He is the only way to the Father. There is no other way. The Bible tells us our hearts are deceitful above all things and we, we need a new heart. There is no amount of good works we can do to make up for the evil in our hearts. The Bible tells us that our good works are like filthy rags to God. So because God is full of grace and mercy and love for us, what He's done is He's given us a way out of our sins that Jesus Christ has paid for our penalty, for, for our law breakedness. He's, he's paid for that. And the message is simple. You just need to turn in faith to Him. You need to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. And you will be forgiven. And you'll be given a new heart. And you'll be given new life. And you'll have a new spirit put within you that causes you to see truth for what it is cause you to stop calling evil good and good evil. It will cause you to love God and love your neighbor, which would include your pre-born neighbor as you love yourself. And that's why I'm out here. Christians come out here because we love you. Not just because God commands us, but because God has given us a heart to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And the greatest love I can show to anyone is to tell them the truth about their sin. That unrepentant sin, apart from Jesus Christ, our sin gets us death in hell. So the plea of, of my plea for you is to please repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Turn away from your darkened hearts and accept the free gift of grace by trusting in Jesus Christ and the gospel message.